guys, Mr. Anderson here for Science Lab 7, and today we're going to be talking about matter. Now, not just matter, but we're going to be talking about changes in matter, because sometimes matter changes, right? And sometimes those changes are physical changes, sometimes those changes are chemical changes. Today, we're going to be talking about physical changes. Now, a physical change in matter is a change in which the form or appearance of matter changes, but not its composition, meaning it's still the same molecules. It's still the same molecules. It might look different, but it's still the same molecules. So an example might be, like if I take this piece of paper and I crumble it all up, right, the molecules are still the same. It's still paper. Or if I were to take this uh, beaker of water and, and I take some sugar and I, and I dump the sugar in the beaker of water, right, the molecules are still there. Even if we mix it up and it looks like you can't see the sugar anymore, that sugar is still there. We know it's there. You can taste it. All right? It's still the same molecules. The molecules didn't change, and so it's just a physical change. Another example might be a phase change right, or a change in state. So, for example, if I were to take this ice cube, I'm just going to let it sit on my hand, and it warms up. It gets warmer and warmer, right? and it's going to change from a solid into a liquid. Right? Or if we take that liquid and we freeze it back into a solid, right? it's still the same molecules. Whether those water molecules are solid or whether those water molecules are liquid, or even if we take that liquid and we boil it and we make those water molecules a gas, it's still water molecules. It's still the same molecules. So it's just a physical change. All that's changing is the motion of those molecules. Okay? When we talk about uh, energy of motion, that's a kind of energy we call kinetic energy. Again, kinetic energy is energy of motion. So when we look at physical changes, again, it doesn't change the molecules. It doesn't change the composition of the substance. It's still the same molecules. Let's take a look at phase changes or changing state, going from a solid to a liquid to a gas. All right, so looking at this flow chart, you can see a solid there on the left. And if we give a solid some energy, the more energy those molecules have, the faster they move, and it gives them the chance to move from being a solid into a liquid. Okay, a liquid has more energy. Those molecules are moving faster. They're able to flow around one another. If you give those molecules more energy, they can vaporize, you can boil them, they can become a gas, all right? Now a gas has lots of energy. Molecules are more spread apart. They're moving around really, really fast. And if those gas molecules were to lose energy, they might slow down and they might go through what's called condensation where those molecules slow down, they start bumping into each other, they start combining, grouping together. They, when they group together, they form droplets, right? And they turn from a gas back to a liquid. They start going slower, slower. And if we can take more energy away from that liquid and slow those molecules down, they can keep slowing down and eventually become a solid. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now sometimes, as you can see on that flow chart, sometimes a solid skips the liquid phase and goes straight to a gas. If you have a solid that skips the liquid phase and goes straight to a gas, we call that sublimation. A really great place to see sublimation is with dry ice, right? Dry ice is just solid carbon dioxide. And what's amazing about dry ice is that it skips the liquid phase. So if you want something to stay really cold, but you don't want it to get wet, then you can pack it in dry ice. It'll stay really, really cold, but it won't get wet because solid carbon dioxide, dry ice, doesn't melt. It goes from a solid, skips that liquid phase, goes straight to a gas. That's pretty cool. And at times, gases can go straight to a solid. We call that deposition. So really all that's changed is the motion of those molecules, right? When they're a solid, those molecules aren't moving very much, right? They're pretty well stuck where they're at. They're kind of vibrating back and forth. They are moving, just not a whole lot. As they move and they get more energy, they break away from being a solid, they become a liquid, they start to flow around one another, they have more space between the molecules, and they get a, even more energy, they can break away from being a liquid, and they can be a gas, have lots of energy, move all over the place. All right? So when matter changes, it could be a physical change, it could be a chemical change. Today we talked about physical changes. There might be a change in the form or appearance of matter, but not its composition. The molecules stay the same in a physical change. Well, that's it for me. We'll see you next time. This is Mr. Anderson signing off for Science Lab 7 saying, stay curious.